When do you start working on next year's event? Yeah, I'll tell you that uh, that's a very easy answer. Uh, we, start, we started 10 days ago in Davos. At the annual meeting at the end of January, we bring together our teams, the World Economic Forum teams, and we already start planning for a year ahead. And we'll be, we'll be working on it solidly for a whole year. How many people do you have involved from our side? From our, so from our side, it depends, you know, in Davos itself, during the annual meeting, it's, um, it varies, but it's between 500 and 1,000. And it's a lot of people. It's, right. it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a division, a military. And it's kind of a military, I think of it as a military operation in a way, without the negative right. connotation of, <laughs> of the military, of course. But everything, you have to have an attention to detail and a precision that I think exists nowhere else but in you know, the Pentagon or uh, someplace like that. Well, I would think if you didn't, when, when the event actually started to happen, you wouldn't have the control that you needed. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Do you actually run simulations? Do you, do you go through things like that? Well, there are a lot of walkthroughs and, you know, right. uh, before the event, sure. All right, one last question. I yeah. can't let you go without asking for at least one more story. Tell me something that we haven't seen everywhere. That's a tough one. I mean, there, there are so many things. I mean, one thing I think this, this year that really struck me was um, there's a wonderful World Economic Forum initiative that for quite a while was under the radar called Breaking the Impasse, which brought together uh, Palestinian and Israeli business people. So the CEOs of big uh, Israeli groups and the CEOs of Palestinian and Jordanian groups. And at first, these people met really in secret. And uh, I was part of those discussions. It was very interesting. It was just a very small handful of people who were very courageous mm -hmm. to kind of meet together. And uh, the meetings were also held in Davos on the sidelines of the forum this year. And it expanded to several hundred people. And it was really amazing. I mean, there was Shimon Peres and the Israeli um, foreign minister, their counterparts from the Palestinian Authority. But they were really joined by the creme de la creme of the Israeli business community, of uh, leading business men and women from the Gulf, from Saudi Arabia, uh, obviously from the Palestinian territories. And it was very moving. I mean, you could see that this is what the kind of the day after might look like. Mm -hmm. And the day after peace is really um, established. And that's the kind of thing that when the forum puts its mind to it, it does so well. And I think no other institution can really do that. Um, and then, you know, another little thing was on the, uh, the tarmac at Zurich Airport, there was the uh, Iranian, uh, the, the private jet of the Iranian president, Rouhani, parked next to the uh, Shimon Peres' jet. Mm. And the crews were, you know, fraternizing, <laughs> which was amazing, you know, and it's sort of what happens in the... In but Dallas. you didn't get a picture. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> John, thank you very, yeah, thank very you much. Thank you very much.